How are you YouTube? Marvelous. Prime Gundam coming at you with another Gundam More video. I know I promised that the next video I would do would be uh, Let's Play About Cards, but I really don't feel like going through all my extras and commons to take out character cards and you know write up examples. So instead I decided to show you that I'm still in Gundam More. I decided to do a deck profile on my Blue Federation deck. Now unlike my white deck and red green deck which were previously featured on my channel the blue deck goes through constant changes and modifications to try to get this deck to match up to those other two decks and that's not to say that those other two decks completely outclass and destroy this deck it's just that sometimes in the middle of a game it has problems keeping pace with the big units of the white deck and the constant countering of the red green deck but it's still a fun deck that I like to play because it features my favorite fraction from the Gundam Meta series. So let's get started looking at it. First off, it has 13 blue generators you see here before you. Sometimes I might up the count to 14 or I might take it to 12 because sometimes I don't get enough when I need them or I get too much when I don't need them. And you'll see why that can be a problem with the cards I'm about to show. Let's start off first with the unit cards. We have two Medit Medea transport units to serve as chump blockers or to use their card drawing ability. Two Amon bases that generate blue generators when they're in play. Next up is the fodder of the deck. Three GMs. They're a good one turn drop. Uh, one Gigan. He's good late to mid game because at the end of the turn he comes into play you can draw a card. Then we have three RX-78-2 Gundams from the first Gundam, the one you wore. It's good because when a character with new type is on it, it doesn't take damage from effect cards. Uh, the V2 Gundam, he's good because he has wide, wide range weapon. The Zeta Gundam for its transformation ability. And we have the Gundam Mudrock, who is a beast unit. It can only attack on Earth, but it gets plus one, plus O, oh, plus one for every card you have in your hand when he attacks by himself. So if you can get him out third turn, you pretty much got the game and wrap with all the support this deck runs. And to wrap out the units, we have three new Gundams with Saikamu. One of these really should be the new Gundam from Binding Fate, but I can't find one, or anyone won't trade me one. That's it for the units. Let's look at the character cards. We have one cat, Kobayashi. He's just a good, cheap, new type. Sailor Moss, also a cheap, new type, but she has the ability to roll units in the same area she's in. One Amora Ray from the One Year War, who can give a boost. Uh, plus two, plus two, plus two. And one armor away from Shard's counterattack with life gain. Let's look at the operations. We have one order of adverting. That's more life gain. Then we have two gloom in the front. This allows units and roll status to defend. That's it for the operations and units. Let's look at the commands. First up, three provisional armistices. This protects your nation power from damage for a turn. Uh, restoration of the production factory. It's another life gain card. The night before the final battle. It's another life gain card. Two political privilege. Draw two, discard one. Three Operation V. This card lowers the total generator power of the next card you play by two. So that means if I play this card and the next card I play has a total generator power of three, that will be reduced to one. And only can only be one can only be activated once per turn. And lastly, three shocking white shadows. This card is the Beast stick card of the deck. 
one of the cards you have in play with the name with the name Gundam gets plus two plus two plus two and cannot receive battle damage for the end of turn. So it makes the Gundams indestructible. I love this card because of the picture and the flavor text that says it seems like a Gundam type, only one unit. Yeah, famous last words. Well, that's the Blue Federation deck in Gundam War. Now, I know I said I promised the next Gundam War video I would do would be about the character cards. But like I said, I don't have the time to go through all my extras and commas to dig out my character cards. But that is coming sooner or later, hopefully. So keep a lookout for more Gundam War videos. I am still going to be posting and uploading these. And have a great day. This is Prime Gundam.